everyone. So my name is Carlos Ruiz. I'm from the Public University of Navarra, and I'm going to show you the work we call my, uh, the Optical Fiber Sensors Lab. I will begin the presentation with the first motivation of this work, and then I will follow with a brief des description of the principle of operation of the device, and I will show you the, the experimental setup used in this work, and I will show you some of the first uh, previous results with these devices, and we will finish with the conclusions. So, BRICS uh, measurement, or in other words, the measurement of sugar content, content is uh, very important in many applications as a, such as uh, fruit juice or wine making or carbonate uh, beverage industry and of course uh, su sugar production. So uh, there are a lot of devices that uh, have been developed for process control mon monitoring for, for example or for uh, food quality control or biomedical analysis which require the high sensitivity a uh, real-time, fast, robust um, uh, response and portable devices. In our case, the, the utilization of optical fiber accomplished uh, all these uh, requirements thanks to the inherent uh, characteristics of optical fiber, such as lightweight, uh, the small size, and the electromagnetic immunity. Um, we can also obtain high uh, sensitivity. In this sense, uh, uh, different device, optical fiber devices uh, based on different techniques have been developed uh, for brick sensing applications such as the interferometry based uh, brick sensors or uh, surface plasma resonance sensors. Here in this work we present the utilization of a Lucy mode resonance based refractometer for the fabrication of highly sensitive uh, brick uh, sensors. When, when an optical waveguide is coated with a thin film, we can, the light pro propagated through the fiber uh, is affected. So we can obtain different types of resonances. We can obtain the, the well-known surface plasma resonance uh, when the uh, dielectric properties of the thin film, in particular when the real part of the dielectric uh, medium is negative and also higher in magnitude than its own imaginary part and also that of the optical waveguide. We can also obtain a not so well known uh, resonance, which is known as Lucy mode resonance, when the dielectric characteristics of the thin film, in particular the real part of the, uh, thin, of the dielectric constant of the thin film, is positive and also higher in magnitude than its own imaginary part and that of the optical waveguide. In this case, the light that goes through the optical fiber is affected and we can obtain a resonance at the output of the waveguide in this case that uh, and the resonance wavelength varies as a function of the medium surrounding the thin film. In this case, we have used the, the air. So if we focus in a particular case, in this case the indium tin oxide, we can observe that this material shows two differentiated regions. Uh, if we translate the, the electric constant to the optical properties, to the real part and imaginary part of the ITO, in this case, we can see that uh, ITO accomplished the surface plasma resonance conditions to, for higher wavelengths. And also, the characteristics of ITO accomplish this condition for Lucy mode resonance in the left part of the, of the spectrum. So we can see that the Lucy mode resonance location is positioned at the uh, transmittance wa wavelengths associated to the transmission band, transmission band of optical fibers. So this material is very appropriate to be used for uh, Lucy mode resonance ses sensors based on optical fibers. So we have fabricated a thin, thin ITO films onto these safe optical fibers. We have used these safe fibers in order to differentiate between uh, the two different polarizations of light. In order to monitor the fabrication, we have employed two different lasers at uh, two different wavelengths, and we have monitored the fabrication of the coating with two power meters. 
as you can see in the figure, we can observe how we can obtain the sudden decays of optical power as a function of the deposition time. So we can observe at 1300 nanometers four different resonances here. And we can also observe these decays at a later time for the 1550 nanometers. So we can continue and we can obtain more and more Lucy mode resonance if we continue increasing the thickness of the thin film. But this is not the case because as we have observed in some of our previous works, the sensitivity of these resonances to the external medium refractive, refractive index decreased with higher order Lucy mode resonance. So we have focused here in the first order loose Lucy mode resonance. In particular, we can observe two differentiated peaks that, uh, as we have proven uh, by simulations, can be associated with the T and TM light polarization. So if we stop the fabrication process at 11 minutes, we can obtain the spectral response of the device by applying the in a new configuration setup where, where we have added uh, the polarization uh, device and, and light scrambler and also polarization controller in order to adjust the polarization of light at the input of the disabled fiber. So we can adjust the polarization at the input of the fiber. Here we have obtained the response of the device for both polarization. The, the response is, is constrained to the window between uh, 1100 and 1600 because uh, the polarization controller only works in that range. So if we adjust the polarization to the TE mode, we can obtain a very sharp and narrow peak of the resonance. In contrast, if we do not adjust the polarization, this uh, contrast is, has been attenuated due to the contribution of both polarization, which is the, the black line. Uh, if, if we adjust now the TM polarization, we can see that the resonance disappears completely. So this resonance, as I said before, is associated to the TE polarization of light. Here we have used the refractive index medium, the external refractive index of air, of air. So if we want to use this device for Briggs measurements, we need to immerse the device in water with different concentrations of sugar. So we need to increase this uh, refractive, external refractive index. So we need to vary this resonance and this TE resonance will, will be shipped to the right and then we will have this TM resonance positioned at the same way. So this is what, what I saw in this figure. We have shifted the TM resonance to the, right, to the right and we can observe a little bit here to the right the TE resonance that has, has been also shifted when we immerse the, the device at external medium refractive index at 1.32. So we can use this TM resonance to characterize the device uh, for different uh, bricks degrees. As I so said before, this is the, the sharpest and narrowest uh, Lucy mode resonance obtained until now, and we have recently submitted this, this work. So if we measure, uh, if we introduce this device uh, in different uh, bricks uh, solution, in these solutions at different bricks degrees, we can obtain also different uh, sharp and deep resonance peaks. And if we represent this, uh, the resonance wavelength as a function of the Briggs degree, we can obtain a highly linear response with a sensitivity of 8.2 nanometers per uh, Briggs degree, which is comparable with uh, commercial uh, devices nowadays. But what happens if we want to uh, detect a higher uh, bricks concentration? In this case, we have stopped the fabrication of the device after nine minutes uh, sputtering the position time. So that enabled to position the resonant wavelength uh, before uh, the range that we had studied in the previous devices. So this enabled to monitor uh, bricks degrees between 30 and 50. Here, again, if, if we represent the wavelength response as a function of the Briggs degree, we can also obtain a highly linear response 
and we can see how we have increased a little bit the, the sensitivity of the device. So what comes next and uh, what are uh, our next uh, experiments? So it's clear that uh, we, we would like to increase this uh, BRICS range me of measurements. So we would need to uh, fabricate a, a device by re reducing the, the deposition time of ITO. So we have done this, which is one of our uh, noble works until now. So I, I'm going to show you the, the sensitivity of a new device. And as you can see here, we have varied the, the bricks degrees be between 56 to 58 bricks degrees. And we, we, can, we have here the, the same shift, as I saw you before, between 30 and, and 50 bricks degrees. So the sensitivity has been uh, highly uh, increased in this case. And we, we can obtain sensitivity of 91.8 nanometers per, per bricks degree. But what is most, most important is that uh, in contrast with previous results, uh, we, we can observe here that, that the response is not linear because at the end we have an exponential in increase. So if we focus in this uh, last step of the response of the device, we can see that we can also enhance the, the response of the device to you know, we can obtain a 192 nanometers per bridge degree, which uh, if we translate this uh, measurement to, to nanometers per refractive index unit, we can obtain a, a resolution of 1.15 uh, to the minus 8 refractive index units with a 1 picometer resolution device, which is uh, within the technology used nowadays. Finally, I would like to conclude that I, I have shown you the fabrication of Lucy mode resonance based device uh, by the deposition of ITO coatings. We have uh, demonstrated the, the application of, the, of this device to the for big sensor measurement between 5 to 50 bricks degrees and more. And we have obtained a high sensitive device for, for refractometry response. Finally, finally, I would like to thank you for, for, your, for your attention. I would like to thank the financial support and also the support of all my colleagues at the department.